sweeties welcome back to the diva caramel's channel i hope everyone is well okay so today i'm here to do a haul video for you guys okay so i got some stuff for my kit so i just wanted to share it with you guys okay to show you some of the stuff i use in my kit yeah okay so i have some low end items which in you they have some really nice low end items that you can find that you can still use in your kit and then i have some high end stuff from mac okay um so first i'll show you the few things i got from a kit house okay so i got the nikkei k liners okay and i got i think nine of those and a double up on some i got um dark purple and this is this one here dark purple i got red it's a nice red and you don't have to like rub them too much to get the color the color is showing up i this is the same dark purple i double up on that the wall cherry you know so these are nice alternatives you know because they're only a dollar and right there's another wall cherry this one is coffee. It's a nice brown over here. And then this one is burgundy. Which ain't it look a little pinkish to me. But they say it's burgundy. These are some nice um inexpensive liners that you can use in your kit. And the payoff is not bad. Okay? So then I got um this tool of the and they girl pro considers i got this one in warm honey i haven't opened them as yet and this one in almond and here in barbados i got these two from pj's and i got back warm honey again and toffee so that's it for the um a kit house order on from here as well i got the maybelline volume express mascara yeah and I got this from Collins on Broad Street for you ladies that are here and this is the one that has the <coughs> two sides the small side for the bottom lash yeah that's what that looks like and the the larger side for the top lash so I've only used it today and you know it's okay so far. But I also got the Maybelline Great Lash and this is in very black. And I got this one from Cherish from for you ladies that are here. And this is the this is how it looks. And this is the one. Nothing spectacular, but I'll try them and see how it goes. And then I got quite a few goodies from from Elf. Yeah, because they had a 40% off, so I took the opportunity and got some stuff. But a lot of them are just repeats. So this is the makeup mix and set. I got eight of those. I really like this, and I like the matte fix plus and stuff, but. I find this works well too and for three dollars and with the discount it was like one something yeah so I like that I also wanted to try a couple of their concealers so I got one in beige I also got this one is in tan and this one is in almond but they all seem really light to me so they're not gonna work with me but I, they would work for one of my clients also I wanted to try this I saw this on a lady's video for quite some time and I wanted to try it so I got this and this is the the mascara and shadow shield yeah so I thought it would have been a little more um, sturdy instead of moving about so much I think it would have been better if it was a little more sturdy yeah but I got two of those okay so I got the I got the elf mineral face primer okay and I just pumped this to see how it how it feel and I really like how it feel I haven't tried it actually on my face but 
it feels really good on my hand it does leaves the surface like really smooth so it will make a nice um you know canvas to start your makeup so i'm liking this well i haven't used it but i like the way it feels on my hand so i got two of those and these were six dollars and with the 40 percent off they were like three something right moving on to the high-end products now so i got the naked three and i was a bit disappointed i don't know but i you know it's okay um i i'm gonna go through my collection and see if i find any dupes in any of my palettes yeah but this is the way it looks the naked three and it came with the brush but i haven't used it so i can't tell you the quality of it but it feels soft and it comes with a, a big mirror and it came with oh these urban decay eyeshadow primer portion which in the others came with the full the small bottle the small tube which i think that would have been better than these small little tubes yeah okay so i ordered off the mat site and then some of the stuff i got from here so this is the mat section of the haul so i got the these palettes to the pots on my lipsticks yeah i got two of those And I got two of the large ones for like brushes, not brushes, for like blushes and face powders and stuff. Yeah, and these ones go do on both ends. It does have the glass dividing them. And the prices of these were very good to me. These were $8 and the inserts were $2 and that's US. And judging from before, I think people said they used to be 20 something US, which is crazy to me. And this one I got the for the lipsticks yeah which I, I put in the inserts before I should have put in the, the lipsticks and stuff and then put in the inserts which would have been easier but nonetheless I'll still try the potting the lipsticks in here and see how that goes we purchased the fix plus I like this also from that I got their face and body foundation I had a I had gotten a sample and I had liked it because it's very lightweight and you know for those days where you want to wear makeup makeup but don't really want to have that heavy type of look so I got this one here and they only have the small bottles in store you can get the larger bottles online and this is in in nine yeah, N9. In the previous video, I said it was C9, but it's N9. Back to um, from the order online, I got these lip mixes. I was looking online to see, you know, if persons talked about them, but not many people spoke about them. And I saw them online. I wanted to try them, but when I got them, the two, two of them were hard. They're, if you can see, look very hard so I call customer service and they did a credit because I'm here so I can't return them and I'm here in Barbara so I couldn't return them and so I just got a credit for them yeah so that was good customer service on Matt's part and the black one is kind of hard as well but they're still workable I'll still use them I post a picture with a look of the blue I mixed the blue with the white but the white is good the white is good I'm just you yeah, some quick swatches of it and you don't have to use much product little small that dot is and when they work it in yeah so that's the white one so I want to do a couple looks with this or a review on this because I didn't see many and it was looking online Okay, I'm mixing them so you guys can see them. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the. We're trying to go into more detail with this when I do the video on them, but I'll just show you a little bit of how you can get 
another color see so it makes a little bit of the blue with the white and they got that nice blue color so that could be a, like a nice outrageous lipstick for um carnival for if you're doing a photo shoot you know stuff like that and this is the black one here it didn't squeeze out much of the white but they're all very opaque but if it squeeze out more it would you know you can see through it but if it squeeze out more you'll see how opaque it is and this is the blue yeah so the blue the black the white and it makes the the blue and the white and they got this light blue color yeah so loving those and I don't hear many people speak about them. I don't know why. Um, I like them better than the lip tars because they are not glossy and sliding all over the place. I only had one lip tar. They have matte ones now, so that might be better. But the other glossy ones, I don't like. They does move all over your lips and stuff like that. These are like matte to me. Yes. If you want to see the picture of the lips that I did with these lip tars, um, with these lip mixes, sorry on. Instagram you can check that out at the Diva Caramel on Instagram. Yeah, and I, I have a picture there And I got the matte peach luster so a lot of you ladies talk about it say so you say to give it a try I also have swatches of these on my um, On my Instagram, so that's how it look a really nice orange base light highlighter for women of color I wanted to try these chromographic as me chromographic pencils and I got this one in in C42 slash in W35 and these will be some good watercolors for if you don't want to start white in the waterline yeah for women of color this is a nice one this is in C42 in W35 and this one is in C15 and in W20 and they got this for the lighter skin ladies but this can also use for um, darker ladies as well okay and there's this one here yeah um, I can't remember the price of these, but if you check my www.cosmohits.com, you'll see the prices of those. And I was really pleased that you could shop from the pro section online. Yeah, because there's where got the lip mixes and the palettes, so I was really happy about getting those. Okay, so I was a obviously this flat hook fabulous I'm wearing, so I got that, and it's a real really nice with a retro matte yeah so really nice color really really pretty loving that because I I love matte lipsticks so loving this um, flat out fabulous so you see it on the lips so they don't have to swatch it for you and I was looking for a nude that would complement my skin tone. I could not make up my mind, but then I decided on getting in touch. So you won't really see it so good on my skin tone. Yeah, this is it right here. So it's like a brown tone nude. Yeah. So I'm yet to try it on the lips. I haven't tried it on the lips. I just swatched it. And... If you were following me on Instagram, you would have seen these swatches as well. Yeah, so I think that is it for my matte haul. Yeah, so that was everything. Um, I'll do a few swatches of the Naked Tree, Naked Tree palette. And they're kind of powdery to me, that's why I wasn't really impressed yeah powdery but these are the swatches here uh, swatch them I put them in a really awkward place but yeah yeah but anyhow I have it I think it's overpriced but I'll still use it and yeah that's it for my haul CDs thanks for watching thanks for sticking around um, 
thanks for subscribing if you have if you haven't subscribed please do um follow me on instagram at um the diva caramel yeah so thanks and i'll see you on my other video bye sweeties ah.